Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've just um, been doing a, a tile here um, to make a trivet and it was, it is, a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter ceramic tile. Um, I didn't like my previous pour and I was doing a bit of a test of white cell activator. Um, so I've just wiped the other one, got my little trusty little offset spatula here and I've just literally mixed all the colors together. Um, and I'm just going to lay the paint over the top of that again to do my swipe. I'm now going to be swiping with the Global Paints Black Cell Activator, which I've just mixed with Australian Flow Troll, approximately one to four. Um, and all the other colors I'm using are going to be the Araldo Di Paolo paints, some new ones that I've um, just received. So I will just, Continue on with what I was going to do, put the colours through the middle and swipe down and then the other way and do a small wreck through the middle. So this is the cool blue, which is an absolutely beautiful blue. I would refer it to being more of a, um, a royal blue really to me. And I'll just spread some of that along there. Then I'm going to put this beautiful colour that's just called Waikiki. It's just lovely. So the Araldo have got some really nice colours out recently. And I've just ordered um, quite a few more. And I'm not paid by them to say that. I'm just telling you what I'm using. But I do like their paints. And Global and Montmartre and lots of others. So this one is the mint and it's a lovely shimmery metallic color. I do like to have some metallics in when I'm doing um, any of my paints. I like that bit of shimmer. And now I'm going to put the purple. Looks like I've buried the blue. Hopefully it'll come through. I'll put a little bit more on the top. And then we've got a violet. Ultraviolet, actually. Which is very similar to the purple. Only a little bit more toned down. Right, so I'll just put a little bit more of that blue on top. Because it's just disappeared down there. Okay. So I am going to swipe that now with a playing card. Just one of these. I bought them online very cheaply, about 10 packets, I think at the same time. Um, so I'm just going to swipe this way and then the other way. I'll put about two centimeters worth of um, cell activator on the card, as you can see about that much. And then just very, very gently place that into the middle of my swipe line and just very gently draw that down towards me. And hopefully we'll get lots of lovely cells pop up. I see a few coming up there now. Yay. And then off at the edge. Always make sure you wipe the card off between swipes. And I actually just make sure I always use a, a different side as well. Because you don't want any paint to be on there that's going to then muddy up your other paints. So again, that much turn and swipe. We've got some nice cells coming up there. I do prefer a black cell activator to white um, because it does seem to give better cells. But maybe it's the type of paint I'm using as well. And just a little bit down the end there. You can 
finish this side off. And that side's done. So there's lots of lovely cells coming up here now, which is great. I understand that if you're using um, a white cell activator, that the titanium white is very good because it's a bit more um, dense. So it creates cells better. And black, the oxide black, which I've never had oxide black, um, apparently is a really good cell activator too. But this one, which is just the global black, is fabulous. So it's a case of trial and error. Okay, so I want to start about here. Gently dragging down towards me. I hear a helicopter going overhead. Right on cue. another one so this is quite a relaxing part of um, doing the fluid art of course there's swiping and such it's just very relaxing just to be here doing this but sometimes it's not relaxing if you don't get what you want you just feel like picking it all up and throwing it somewhere so for the newbies Yes, you will feel like that from time to time. We all do. Well, I shouldn't say we all do, but I think that most of us at some point feel discouraged. So don't, just keep on going. Here we go, the last little bit. Okay. Now... Oh, I've got lots of lovely cells coming up there. I'm loving the purple and the, um, the Waikiki is really coming up nicely too. Can't see too much of the blue. It is in there. So I'm just going to hit it with the heat embossing tool just to um, get rid of any bubbles and bring up any more cells. A lot of this is trial and error. You know, sometimes you'll do something and you get great results and then you think you've done the same thing the next day and you'll get something you think, that's not how it was before and you don't really know why. I think there's a little bit of magic involved. Just a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little bit of wrecking. Um, I was just going to go through the middle, but I think I'll take it a bit further than that. And I might use the thick end of the um, bamboo uh, chopstick this time, just to get a thicker line. I'm just dragging it through. Just slowly, whatever direction you want to go. There's no particular way. It's just how you feel at the time. I might take it through this dark area to bring up a little bit of paint, a bit of colour. Run that one straight off. And I'll just use the thinner side. Okay, don't want to do too much wrecking on it. Says she doing another one. Radio. well now I'm just going to spin that out. That will expand the cells a little bit um, and also the wrecking lines. Not too fast though. Just stop it and check. 
Just do a little bit at a time so that you don't um, end up running all the paint off and losing what you had. Right, well, I think what I'm missing in there is a bit of gold. So even though I've already finished putting my colors down, you can still add some color in there. So I'm just going to add a little line here. And then I'll run the skewer through it, a thinner skewer. I'll get one of these thinner ones. I'm just gonna run a line through the middle of that. Okay, I feel it just needs a bit of brightening up. Just do another little line through. Oops. Where else needs brightening up? Hmm, perhaps just here. I do like putting a bit of gold in or copper. Copper looks great too. Or bronze. Any of those sorts of um, metallics look absolutely great. And just sort of bring any painting to life, I think. But we all have different um, ideas about what we like. And just for the record, I've never actually done these before. I don't think they look too bad. question will be, will I or should I spin that out or leave them like they are? That's probably enough. So I might just give that a small spin. saying needs something in the middle there or do I just leave it like that you can fiddle forever of course which I don't want to do okay well, we've got lots of lovely cells happening in the middle here and lots of smaller ones around so that's something a bit different um, that's your basic drizzle swipe rec spin with a slightly different take to it. Right, so I'll just bring you down for a close-up. Right, so here we are down for the close-up. All these lovely cells. I'll have to bring you over the top to start with. And then we'll come down. So there's some really nice cells in here. I'm quite liking those little guys that I added in there. Some nice cells there. The purples have really come through. I can't see too much of that um, lovely blue. The cool blue hasn't sort of come through very much at all. So there you have it. Okay, so thanks for joining me today in Studio 33. 
and I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Bye-bye.